Hello friends, this video on application of derivatives part 28 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 27. One more example. We have to show that the rectangle inscribed in a given fixed circle has maximum area. So we have this circle. Inside this circle, we have this rectangle. So the question says that you have this circle, in this you inscribe the rectangle, the one which has maximum area has to be a square. That is, in this case, both the sides will be. That is what the question says. And that is what we have to prove. First thing, is it the question of look uh, absolute maximum minima? No, because the range in domain is not defined. So let's take my R here. How should we proceed? This is my center, 0, 0. How should we proceed? In this question, we have to prove that if my sides are x and y, I have to prove that x is equal to y. Correct? To prove x is equal to y for area to be maximum, that is xy is equal to max. That is why we have to prove. We have to prove that x is equal to y for xy to be max. Correct? So if you join these lines, what I'm trying to do is, I'm trying to get a relation between x and y. So that I can write the whole thing in terms of x and then I can find the value of x for which this is max. This is r, this is r, this is 2r, this is x, this is y. So my Pythagoras theorem says that x square plus y square is equal to 2r y square because the right triangle. So my y is nothing but root of 4r square minus x square. This is my y. I have a function xy because that is the area function and I have to find the value of x for which it is maximum. So replace y with this guy. So root 4r square minus x square. So I have to find the maximum value of this or I have to find the value of x for which this function is maximum. Same thing, first thing we will differentiate this guy. So this becomes, we will differentiate this guy. This is nothing but, first time make this constant. So this becomes 4r square minus x square. Next time, make this constant, differentiate this guy. So this becomes 1 by 2, 4r square minus x square into 1 by 2 into x square differentiates the minus 2x minus 2. By chain rule I have done. If you are having issues in this, again watch a derivative chapter where we have explained how to derive such kind of equations. So f does x is this one. Correct. You solve this further. This is nothing but root of 4r square minus x square and this gets multiplied. So this becomes 4r square minus x square and this becomes minus, this cancel, minus x square. So this is nothing but 4r square minus 2x square by a root of 4r square minus x. This is the value of f dash x. Now for this to be maximum, this guy has to be 0. So this guy has to be 0, that is f dash x has to be 0 or 4r square minus 2x square by root of this guy has to be 0. If this is 0, my denominator is 0, so I can write this as nothing but x is nothing but root 2r. If you solve this, you will get the value of x to be root 2r. How? This guy is 0, so 2x square, I will solve it here. 4r square minus 2x square is equal to 0 or x square is equal to 4 by 2r square or x is equal to root 2r. I am not taking the negative part because x is a length, it has to always to be positive. So x is equal to root 2r. If x is equal to root 2r, let's find the value of y. y is nothing but this guy, this guy here, root of 4r square minus x square that is root 2r square. And this is nothing but root 2r. So if you see x and y, 
both are root 2 r so i can say that x is equal to y and that is what i was supposed to now there's one more step here actually which i am missing that is i knew that root 2 r is a critical point but i have to find f double dash x also if you find f double dash x we have to prove that this guy is less than 0 sorry f double dash of root 2 r is less than 0 so first thing is you define f double dash x and then you define f double dash of root 2 r and prove that this is 0 so this is i left on students you can students can solve this very not that difficult you have this function for this function you define double derivative and find the value of f of root 2 r this will come out to be less than 0 Let's take one more example. The question says we have to show that the right cylindrical, circular cylindrical of given surface area, surface area is constant and maximum volume such that height is equal to the diameter of the base. So the question says we have this cylinder, we have this height and we have this diameter. Let's suppose we have radius r diameter is 2r and diameter is also equal to the height so h is equal to 2r is what i have to prove if to prove i have to prove this if v is max if volume is maximum correct what is given given is surface area is constant volume is maximum right and to prove h is equal to 2r these are given so let's see what does it mean it means that if you find sa is nothing but 2 pi rh plus pi r square into 2 and this is some constant it is k correct and my volume is pi r square h I have to find the value of r for which this is maximum volume is maximum correct the first thing i have to do i have to convert this guy into r term only i have to instead of h term i want it r term here how can i get that i have one more equation that surface area is constant so with that i can get h is nothing but some constant minus 2 pi r square divided by 2 pi r so i'll put this h here so this becomes pi r square into h h is nothing but k minus 2 pi r square by 2 pi r correct and if you see pi pi cancel r r square cancel this is nothing but r by 2 into k minus 2 pi r square this is my volume in terms of r now i have to find the value of r for which this volume is constant correct v is constant so for this what i can do is i can find the value of db by dr and i can make it zero so whatever r i get that is a point where this volume will be maximum or minimum so let's find db by dr so for this if i want to find db by dr so this i can further write as k r by 2 minus pi r cube actually so this is nothing but db by dr is if this is v db by dr is k r by 2 will become k by 2 minus 2 pi r cube will become 3 pi r square correct and this is equal to 0 so with this my r will be nothing but root of k by 6 pi this is the value of r but we don't know whether in this case it is maxima minima or inflection correct 
So for this, we have to find d square b by dr square. Second differentiation. So dv by dr is this. So if you double differentiate this, k by 2 becomes 0. Minus 3r square becomes 6 pi r. This is nothing but minus 6 pi r. That will always be less than 0 because r is always positive. So this is always less than 0. So this guy is always maximum. Thus, my r is k by root root k by 6 pi. What I have to prove? I have to prove that I have to prove that this r is equal to h by 2, correct? Or h is equal to 2r. Let's find the value of h. h is nothing but k minus 2 pi r square by 2 pi r. Correct. So let's put this value k minus 2 pi. What is the value of k? k is we know that this guy. Correct. That is k is 2 pi r h. Now if we can find the value of k here, I'll put the value of k, everything will be in terms of r. So this equation I get r is equal to root k by 6 pi. If you square both sides, r square is equal to k by 36 pi square. k is equal to, if you see 6 pi square, 6 pi actually. So k is nothing but 6 pi r square. k is nothing but 6 pi r square. Correct. So I'll put this guy here. k is equal to 6 pi r square minus 2 pi r square by 2 pi r that is 4 pi r square by 2 pi r that is 2 r. So if you see what we have found h is equal to 2 r and that is what we were looking for. So what we have done simple what we have done was we have this statement we convert this into mathematical statements surface area is constant volume is max we have to prove that h is equal to 2 r. Surface area formula we know that is constant. And with this, I got a uh, equation of h in terms of r. Volume is pi square pi r square h. To find the maximum value, I have to convert this into a total equation that is totally on the r. So I removed or I replaced h with k minus 2 pi r square by 2 pi r. I got a uh, equation of volume in terms of r. I found dv by, dv by dr. And I got the value of r to be root k by 6 pi. But I didn't know it is maximum or minimum. I double differentiate this and I found that this is less than 0. So this is the maximum value. Now I have to prove that h is equal to 2r. So I said h is equal to this formula, use this formula, k minus 2 pi r square by 2 pi r. Now I had everything in r, only k part was there. So I knew that I can write k in form of r also. So I wrote this k is equal to 6 pi r square. And then the moment I write this, I simplified this equation, I got h is equal to Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.